face, I attack that. Choose up, Lil John, I'm finna pack him. When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active. Dirt ball in the coup, smoking cat piss. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's YouTube video, I'm going to be doing different hairstyles for you guys today. Let me just clarify something. So, people think my hair is a weave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, my hair is not a weave. It's 100% real. Hair. <laughs> uh, the last time I checked. Um, but yeah, this is my actual real hair. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify that because everyone's like, oh my god, you have a weave on. I'm like, no. This is my actual hair. It's actually this long. I'm not allowed to cut it, so. Before we start this video, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Brushes by Emily. So these brushes really help me a lot. These are some makeup brushes. Um, this one has a lot of different brushes in it. I use them for different things. Like, to, if you guys haven't seen my last post, I had like a green eyeliner kind of look thing. And I used this brush. These are the brushes that the first Hello Kitty kit comes with. Don't mind my nails, they look ugly. She's staring at me. Okay, but those are them. Okay, so the next two I got, I kind of put them together because um, the other three, well, uh, the other four brushes I got together came in like a separate package and like I didn't really have a case for them. So I just put them in with these. So this is the other kit that I get. This brush goes with these two, these four brushes. This is what you get when you buy the little package. Um, I think these are super great. I use these for my, I use these two for my um, eyeshadow. And then I use this one for blush. And then this one I use for like packing on, on the crease. For if I do like an eyeshadow that has the crease. And then these brushes, ha this one's for your eyebrows. Personally, I use these ones for my edges. And then uh, a pointy brush. And then this one, this other fluffy brush that I got, I use it for contour. And then there's other little mini things that you can use for your um, eyeshadow or anything else you want to use it for. So go check her out, I'll have her instagram linked in the description below go check her out her brushes are super cute soft and i love the way they work okay so we can go ahead and get started okay you guys so i'm starting off with the triangle shape and i'm gonna keep this shape and i'm just gonna go all the way back but while i'm going all the way back i'm adding more hair so i'm making the triangles bigger and that's what you're gonna see right now Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and did the other side off of camera because I was kind of having trouble, but then I kind of got it, so we're good. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. So this is it. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, lay my edges down and I am going to take this hair gel. So I just want to clarify that the reason why my mouth is open is because my lips are big and like my braces make it 10 times worse so sometimes it'll catch me like with my mouth open <laughs>
Okay guys, so now I'm going to make a square shape. Next, I'm gonna part it down the middle. Now I'm going to section my hair into two pieces. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side so there's four squares. Before I do the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and add a rubber band. Okay, so now I'm going to twist my hair and put it with the back piece on the other side of it. So they're gonna look like they're crossing. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and this is where you're going to see them crossing. I'm gonna take a hair tie and put them all together up. Lastly, I went ahead and did my edges. This is optional to you if you want to do it, or you can move on to straining or curling your hair. I left mine just the way it was because it was already somewhat wavy, but yeah, that's the last step. Okay guys, so this is the finishing look. Okay, so I started with parting my hair in the front and I put the rest of it back. Now I'm going to be sectioning my hair into squares. Now that you did that, you're going to do the same thing all the way down, but putting the hairs with them so they're connected. Now you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Last, I am doing my edges. Again, this is optional. Also curling or straightening your hair. I left mine again the way it was because of how wavy it was and yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. So I went ahead and I got pieces from the front of my hair and put the rest of them back. You can use as much hair as you want to. But basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be braiding them. And it's very optional. You can braid it all the way down or you can put rubber bands in between like I did. It's optional to you. And yeah. <laughs> 